First job, uh, I'm cleaning dishes in a hotel. And <laughs> my little Betsy was a 1989 Toyota Starlet. <laughs> when their club won the Intermediate Football Championship, I was about seven or eight, I remember running onto the pitch after. My mum. Jesus, I'm, I'm, I'm putting nearly everything out there online. All my insecurities are on my Instagram. Um, I like S Club 7. <laughs> uh, tea or coffee? Uh, coffee. Uh, chocolate or crisps? Oh, chocolate. I fucking hate crisps. Gosh, can I swear? <laughs> of course. Okay, yeah, yeah, I hate crisps. Favourite home meal? Uh, shepherd's pie. Favourite cheat meal? Ice cream, Ben and Jerry's ice cream, or there's Gino's and Galway's ice cream is pretty amazing. They've got Nutella, chocolate and white Nutella. My God, that stuff is like tongue sex. Easiest meal to prepare in bulk? Uh, veg, sweet potato and chicken. You can literally make up a week's worth in a day. Favourite flavour of protein? Uh, chocolate mint, but I use chocolate normally just because you get sick of chocolate mint. So, <laughs> how do you like your potatoes? Baked. <laughs> that was take two, if you, shoot, you edit that. Uh, Favourite restaurant? Oh, uh, the Happy Pear in Greystones. Uh, your recommended protein brand? I use Sun Warrior. That's because I use a vegan protein. Um, but Flexi are great, Optum Nutrition are great, Amix are great. Um, I use Sun Warrior though. And favourite free workout? Flexi Fury oh, stuff is, I'm addicted to that. I'm gonna give it up someday, but like, it's like the heroin of the pre workout world. Um, David Goggins, probably, um, who's an ultra marathon runner, or Joe Rogan, one of the two of those. Uh, I, there's different sections of different podcasts that I love. Um, so it's nearly impossible to name one guest because say when I had Damien Brown on when he rode across the Atlantic that was the only time that I forgot I was doing an interview when he was talking about rowing across the Atlantic and how his boat capsized I completely forgot I was doing a podcast and then I've got like Ross Edgley who's a good friend of mine again I completely forget that we're having a conversation and that we're recording this and um, I've had my best mate Paul Germany on talking about life skills and um, I'm getting knowledge bombs from people like uh, the food medic so the happy pair are on they were amazing someone I look up to so it's nearly impossible to pick one show there's parts of different shows that I love um, and different episodes so it's nearly impossible to pick that Uh, squats, front squats probably, um, or barbell thrusters. If I'm really short on time, I'll do a barbell thruster, which is a front squat to overhead press. Like if I'm short on time or short on equipment or I'm in a hotel gym, I literally just do a weight on that and do 50, 100 reps and that's my workout done. Your least favorite? Um, any move that I can't feel the muscle. So there's some traditional movements that are like, amazing moves that I, I just can't feel I never they never did anything for me um, I do things like stiff legged deadlifts but they're not a great move because I just can't feel the stretch on the hamstring even though you know I know you need to do them for performance um, so any movement like that that I can't feel I don't like Um, morning's my favorite time, but I very rarely train in the morning because I try and do my creative or productive work first thing in the morning, and then I use the downtime during the day to train. But my favorite time to train is first thing in the morning, out of bed, literally straight to the gym and, and have the workout done for the day. Stick with the basics. No need to overcomplicate it, and don't follow somebody else's program online just because you want to look like them. It's, it, Anyone that has a decent physique normally built it with the foundation principles of bench press, squats, deadlifts, the basic compound movements, and then they built it off the back of that. When you come in as a beginner, you could look at the way I train or the way that somebody else trains and think that that's what you need to do. That's 17 years fast forward and you're optimizing. So I'm optimizing things now. I don't need to do the basics, even though they're still foundation pillars of my workouts. I can do other things and respond. When you're starting off first, stick with the foundation movements and build your program around that. People standing in front of the 
Fuck, I, can, I can't swear. People stand in front of the fucking mirror when you're trying to do, watch your form. Now I get the irony that you're watching yourself, but you're checking your form, and if there's someone in front of the mirror like scrolling on their Facebook, it's just, that's my biggest pet peeve. Also, people come in and talk to you when you've got your headphones in. Like that's the universal sign for fuck off for 20 minutes. <laughs> Um, the the community aspect of it. G I lived in San Francisco and I lived in California for a year. And I remember when I had no job and no house, the GA community out there were literally like, come live with me, I'll give you a job. And you can go anywhere in the world and the GA community look after you. It's absolutely, it's like nothing I've ever seen. I like the Dublin one. Yeah. <laughs> right, we'll stop it now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the blue, I don't, red's my colour, but I like the Dublin jersey. I'm a little bit biased just because of all the work I've done with them, but I'd love to bring TJ Reid into the Herders and put himself and Joe Canning together. I just think it's, you're talking like Ronaldo Messi. Uh, dead or Alive? Yep. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, The Rock. Um, and Charlie Munger, who is um, Warren Buffett's business partner who owned Berkshire Hathaway, and they earn uh, Berkshire Hathaway own Coca Cola as one of the richest men in the world. So, The Rock, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Charlie Munger. Three things you would bring to a de desert island. Um, desert island, man. Des not desert island. De de yeah. Desert island. <laughs> Cherries. Um. <laughs> Uh, Desert Island, um, I bring a book, I bring a kettlebell, and I bring a really hot bird. <laughs> um, Venice Beach in California. Probably The Dark Knight if I had to pick one. I love that movie, but anything by Christopher Nolan. So after Celeb Chats, this is my second favourite to follow. Um, I get a lot from Jay Setti or David Goggins. Um, I quite like Joe Rogan and Tim Ferriss as well, but it's more podcast. But I check their Instagram to see what's coming up on their podcast. One word. Um, grateful. Um, stop judging what you're doing off what everybody thinks you should do and everyone will give you advice on parenting and this is the way you should do it. Find what works for you, find out whatever qualities that are important to you and instill that into your kids and don't be letting the outside world and the external things dictate how you parent because it doesn't matter. Find what works for you, find what works for your family, find what works for your kids and then do that and don't care what everybody else says that this is what you should do because that's societal pressures that change over time. Um, one bit of advice from a 13 year old self, stop letting others opinions dictate the direction that you take going forward for the next 10 years. Amazing. Super. <laughs>